Hello, we are Team Interplanetar, an undergraduate student team from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. We are participating in the University Rover Challenge 2023, and we present to you our latest rover, Prochesta version 1.0. We implemented a four-wheel rocker suspension mechanism to keep the rover lightweight. Wheels are attached to the rockers on either side of the rover chassis. Bar differential keeps the rover chassis balanced at an average angle between the rockers on either side. This allows the rover to climb over rocks on uneven ground while minimizing jerking of the chassis, thus protecting sensitive electronic components inside. We tested the rover for traversal in extreme rocky terrain. Our rover can climb steep slopes and withstand sudden falls without any damage. The rover can also drive over sandy ground. This year, a completely new chassis is designed and manufactured to reduce weight and ensure modulation. The chassis is made of stainless steel square tubes, which is stick welded, providing strength while being lightweight. It provides more space for electronics, arms, and science payloads. The suspension is made from stainless steel square tube. This year, we made a modification by shifting the link bar differential from the front of the chassis to under the bottom. This allowed us to mount the arm in front of the rover for better maneuverability of the arm during several tasks. Learning from previous years, we have simplified the arm design, and this lighter design is manufactured using TIG welded AC square tubes. The 6 degree of freedom arm stands on a tightly integrated worm gear box run by a DC motor which provides base rotation. This worm gear reduces backlash of previous design. This year, we have modified the previous end defector by replacing most of the plastic parts with aluminium alloy. This enabled us to make the roll, pitch and yaw mechanism 74% smaller in volume while still maintaining the similar strength. The end defector can push buttons, flip switches, plug in USB and type on keyboards. With the 360 degree continuous rolling, we can turn knobs and drive screws with a screwdriver. The arm can pick up objects from the ground, pull ropes, open and close latches and drawers. RealSense depth camera is used for obstacle avoidance and air tag detection during autonomous navigation task. Alongside the camera, our rover uses a 9 degree of freedom IMU and PS module connected to a Jetson Xavier NX, which is the same setup as the previous year. The Jetson Xavier NX acts as the rover's main processing unit and takes the 3D point cloud data from the camera and fuses it with the GPS and IMU data for waypoint navigation. Using point cloud data from the depth camera, a 3D map of the environment is generated. This is then used to generate a 2D grid map where the obstacles are marked with black boxes. The path planning algorithm uses this data to traverse in an optimum path while avoiding obstacles, which is shown in the RVS window marked in blue. The detected air tags also get marked on the map and camera window using GPS data. Real-time position data is shown on the map and weapon-based navigation is performed successfully. For effective task handling, we have created a unique user interface that is connected to ROS, which includes all manual rover operation functions. Our rover operators may simply control a variety of rover movements by depressing various buttons on the user interface and on the keyboard. The rover's sensor data and video feed can also be streamed through the user interface for monitoring purposes. We've set up a 2.4 GHz communication link between the base station and the rover using two rocket M2s. Base station uses a 120 degree 15 decibel sector antenna while the 13 decibel omnidirectional antenna is mounted on the rover. These are both high gain antennas and they ensure no line of sight communication for a distance up to 1.5 km from the base station. The electrical system of our rover is separated into four different boards power, arm, wheel, and science. For powering the rover, we are using lithium polymer batteries and two different power rails 12 and 24 volts. This year, we designed our power board with high current consumption in mind and high and low power system is properly isolated to remove any electrical noise. We have redesigned our arm control board to take the full advantage of 6 degree of freedom. We have also introduced magnetic encoder to implement the inverse kinematics. Besides, all the wiring is done neatly. The science board is also redesigned. We have introduced DC motor, peristaltic pump, electromagnet and vibrational motor for soil sample collection and analyzing. And also the electrical components are chosen in a manner that no contamination can occur. Safety of the rover and the crews are our top priority, so we have installed an industry standard kill switch to cut off the power from the batteries in case of an emergency. Also, the power consumption of the rover is heavily monitored. This year, we have redesigned and remodeled soil collection and scientific analysis device from scratch in more efficient way. To collect the soil, we use detachable scoopers which are collected by rover arm using electromagnetic effect. The electromagnetic mechanism to pick and drop the scooper from funnel is still under manufacturing. Three different scoopers are used to avoid contamination. The scoopers open and close itself by using linear actuator and elastic rubber fiber. After collecting soil, scoopers are placed on funnel opening and mixed with water solution using vibration motor. Peristaltic pumps are used to bring soil solution and chemicals in the test tube. For onboard scientific analysis, we use different chemicals to detect presence or absence of life. Protein, lipid, carbohydrate, and carbonate biomolecules will be detected through the color-changing chemical reactions. Color change will be observed using microscope camera. Further development of ATP test using luciferase enzyme is going on to detect extinct or extant life. Also, for rock sample analysis, we have developed a model using CNN and ResNet, which can process the data from real and augmented images. We train the model using available rocks and gravel. We also use temperature and humidity sensor to observe if soil sample is habitable for life or not. We designed another detachable scooper to collect soil sample of interest which will be brought to the judges after traversal. We thank our sponsors and see you in URC.